Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I just want to send out um, some well wishes and prayers um, for the people in Texas, the residents of Texas. I have family in Texas also and friends. So I wanted to uh, come on and just send out, you know, well wishes, strength, prayer, you know, um, to the Texans that are, have suffered, you know, um, a loss of loved ones, um, you know, through the weathering, the coldness, uh, water issues, uh, lack of power. I, I just want to be able to, you know, send out those wishes that I have been praying for you all. My mother and I pray a lot and we talk a lot about the word of God. And so we definitely have been praying. And so I wanted to bring a scripture to all of you. And if you're listening and watching this video, somehow that you will stop by and get to see this video if you're able to, um, you know, to know that the world is praying, the country is praying for you and praying for restoration, because that's important is that we pray for one another, whether we're in a strange land or not, whether we know each other or not, we, it's important that we pray for one another and that, um, you know, we pray that God will restore your land. Uh, even in this pandemic that we've all been affected by across the world, but that God will restore your land and he will restore power and if and water. If you don't have water, that he will restore that as well and that you come together with your resources. And I know that a lot of us have been taught how to survive, you know, and so, um, you know, to put on your surviving skills and to not fear and to not fret you know, that God is going to do a new thing is he's going to take care of you even through the storm. Cause you know, Jesus went through some storms and, and so we know that God is an awesome and mighty God. And so here is the scripture and it says here, verse 30 through, excuse me, out of John 16. And this is the, uh, I'm reading from the King James version of the Bible. And it's John 16, 33. And it says, these things I have spoken unto you. Uh, that in me, ye might have peace in the world. Ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And now tribulation is the basic meaning of uh, the Greek Philippuses. And this is a, uh, here is, is pressure, especially the pressures is the pressures that come uh, for us when we are openly identified with Jesus in the world. And these pressures are a fact of life, but but we can take courage because Jesus has triumphed, especially in his resurrection. And we share in his triumph. And if we go to Romans 5, 3, and let's, let's, let's just go to Romans 5, 3 right here. And it says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation work at patience. And let's even read number four and patience experience and uh, experience hope. And then five, and hope make it not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. See, Jesus loves us. He has affection for us. So he, Jesus is taking, he's going to take care of us. He's going to take care of you. And, and you can rejoice in the tribulations because they are too are deemed for our good in Christ. And the word tribulation refers to all kinds of trials. That's including the storms of what you're going through now uh, that may press in upon us. And this includes such things as the pressures of financial, physical need, trying circumstances. And you have some trying circumstances right now, Texans. And I want you to know that God is with you during these trying circumstances. And, and we are praying for you. And wherever you're at all over the world, I ask that you will pray for Texas and that you will, if you can help step up to do what God has called you to do, if he's placed it on your heart. But we're praying because there's trying circumstances when you don't have power, when there's a loss of water or you're having water issues. And, and, and so, and, and, and there may even be food issues. And then there's the sorrow, the sorrow of losing a loved one. And, and maybe even people that are sick right now going through it in the nursing homes or even at home or the hospitals and, and, and they've had to probably kick on their generators. And, and so you, you, you know, you may feel like you're facing persecution, mistreatment of loneliness, you know? So he's saying that I'm going to be with you through these tribulations. And in the middle of these troubles, the grace of God, 
God enables us to seek his face more diligently and produces in us a persevering spirit, a persevering spirit. So I pray that you will have that persevering spirit and character that overcome the trials of life. Instead of driving us to despair, suffering produces perseverance. Suffering produces perseverance and perseverance produces proven character and proven character results in a mature hope that will not disappoint. So you will not be disappointed, even though it may seem like there are some disappointments going on for the storms that you're facing right now and the trials and tribulations and, and everything and your trying circumstances. But the, 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 the proven character results in a mature hope that won't disappoint. And God's grace lets us look beyond. It lets us look beyond our present problems, our present problems. See, there's pre present problems that's going on right now all over the world. But even in your circumstances, on top of it, God grace, his grace allows us to look beyond the present problems to a fervent hope and, and in God and a certain hope for the return of our Lord to establish righteousness and good uh, godliness and godliness in the new heavens and earth the new heavens and earth there's going to be a new heaven and earth but right now we're we're in this earth right now in these current present times and so god's uh, grace lets us look beyond it so we have to be able to look beyond it and, and look up and say father we need you right now father we know you haven't forgotten us or forsaken us father and we need you to look down upon us your mighty divine hand just touch as only you can do it right now father do it right now in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit do it right now father god that you will restore the power you you will restore whatever it is that needs to be restored for the, 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 the people, the residents that are in Texas. And then uh, he says right here, in the meantime, God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit to comfort us in our trials and bring Christ's presence near us. Christ's presence near us. And if we go to John uh, 14, 6 through 23. So if we go to John 14, 6 through 23, uh, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If we had known ye, ye should have known my Father also, and from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. But then Philip came along and he said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it's sufficient us. Okay. And, uh, and so Jesus said unto him, have I been so long time with you? And yet has thou not known me, Philip, he had seen me, had seen the father. And how says thou then show us the father believe is not, not that I am the father and the father in me, the words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am the father and the father in me or else believe me for the very work's sake. And he gives us promises of miracles. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believe it on me, the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name that I will do, that the father may be glorified in the son. If ye ask anything, in my name, I will do it. And so asking God to restore the power in his name, asking God to fix the water issues in his name, asking God to restore the land in his name, asking God to heal the sick in his name, asking God to give you peace and to dry your tears from a loss of a loved one that has succumbed through this storm in his name. And for the man that fell on ice, asking God to recover him in his name, asking God to do a mighty works in his name. See, everything we need to ask for has to be in his name coming through the father. And so for you Texans that are suffering right now and going through it in these trying times and circumstances, asking in his name. 
Father God, we thank you on another day, Father God, that you have brought this word, Father God. We lift up the Texans to you right now that are suffering, that have lost a loved one, that are in trying times, that have no power. The power hasn't been restored or it's going on and off, Father God, that we will ask you that you will restore it fully, 100%, Father God. And then, Father God, we ask, Father God, that they will have continued clean water, running water, Father God. And if there's water issues that you will fix the water issues, Father God, we know that you can do mighty things and miracles, Father God. So Father God, we stand on your promises, Father God, and we lift up every Texas family to you right now, Father God, right now, do it right now, Father God, that you will be with them and wrap your loving, kind arms around them, Father. Show them the survival skills that you have shown us even throughout times in the Bible from the Old Testament up to the New Testament, Father God, show them, Father God, wrap your loving arms around them, Father God, let your love and your divine power come down and rest, rule and abide on them, that your Holy Spirit will come up on them, Father God, to restore them and restore the land, Father God, and that they will have that hope, Father God, and that faith, Father God, that they won't give up. They will see, see your face and they will see you and continue to look for you for their, through their, for your, uh, for their strength. And power, because we know that strength and power comes from you. So, Father God, touch in a mighty, special way as only you can. Bless as only you can. Father God, we thank you on today. Even in the midst of the storms and trials and tribulations and the trying circumstances. And even on top of this pandemic, Father God. Continue, Father God to let us walk upright, that you will continue to show your love down upon the Texans, down upon the world, Father God, because we need you right now, Father God. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And so, Father God, we believe the report and we believe that we have the protection and the promises of you, and we stand on that. So all of you, Texas, continue to stand on the promises of the word of God and the Holy Spirit that he will restore everything in due time. And remember, not in our time, but in his time. We embrace your love, Father. We embrace you. Because you are the beginning and the end. The am I am. The Alpha and Omega. And the author and finisher of our faith. God bless you all on today. Peace out.